Real life, real stories, life lessons with Esther Joseph. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. How are you guys? Hope all is well. Today is what? Today is um, Wednesday, the 22nd of December, 2021. Um, hope all is well. I greet you guys in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, I don't know if it, this is too loud, but I love, I said to you, I like worship in the background. in you okay let me turn this down let me turn this down are we in are we in okay let us pray father we thank you in the mighty name of jesus we give you the glory we give you the adoration we bless your holy name we thank you for another day lord god we thank you for the month of december we thank you for everything you're doing lord god we cover this live in the precious blood of jesus christ we cover your children under the, the, the sound of my voice under the, in the blood of jesus christ lord god father we pray for those that will come ac um, across this video in the mighty name of jesus we give you um all the praise we give you the adoration we bless your holy name we honor you we bless you lord jesus we give you back all the glory lord god we thank you lord jesus for your protection we thank you for who you are holy spirit come and have your way we cover the live in the blood of jesus holy spirit come and have your way in the name of jesus christ amen and amen hi guys hi how are you hi guys okay so this is a quick one <clears throat> it's a very quick one um yesterday i um yesterday i addressed um the whole the covering my head okay and then in that um in that video my niece saw someone talking about tattoos yeah do i is that a tattoo on your neck okay so um <clears throat> we are gonna go to um to uh we are gonna go to scriptures okay we are gonna go to scriptures um I think I've got it here. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so what I want to do, we're going to go to scriptures, but um, I'm going to give you a little story. But we will hang on, let me see. Okay, um, I'll just have to put this that, that particular scripture up. I was looking for a scripture in John, but um, I'll have to put it up in the, I'll have to put it in the description box. Okay, so let's get into it. So um, my niece said to me, um, Auntie, um, someone mentioned something about your tattoo on your neck. Um, first and foremost, I am not the first minister that has tattoos, okay? I am not the first minister. I've seen people that are older than me, been in the, the in the field longer than me, and they have tattoos. Now, um, Jesus took in prostitutes, dumb, deaf, everything. He, he wanted to be around everybody, okay? Um, now, anything you talk about in a description box, I have the right to address it. It's my channel with all humility. Now, I don't know if the sister was coming from a place. Is that a tattoo? Like, I don't know. I didn't read it. My niece came back and said it to me. But yes, it's a tattoo. And it's, I've, I, if, um, you see what people do. What I've, I've noticed on YouTube, okay? People like to do comments. I've seen it on my friends. Um, she's been in this game longer than me and I've seen it. Yeah. People come in wherever they come in, but they don't go back. Now, whoever that was, if you go back into my videos of 2020, I did talk about tattoos. I did talk about tattoos. I did address tattoos. But anyway, for those that want me to address it again, I will do that, okay? Do I have tattoos? Yes, I have tattoos. 
Was it in my past life? Yes, it was in my past life. Am I a fan? Am I a fan, fan of them now knowing what I know the word of God says? No, I'm not. So for those that are, look at very detailed things, you know, is that this, is that that, is that that, you would always get someone that tries to throw in a, a stone, okay? And that's what I was looking for. I was looking for the scripture in John when um, Jesus says, um, if you don't have no sin, you throw the first stone, yeah? So um, I was looking for that scripture. I, I don't know of head. So what I'm going to do is link it to this video in the description box. Okay. But what I'm going to do for you is, um, as I said to you, the word of God opens me up. Okay. If it's, what does Jesus say? I always go back to the word. What does Jesus say about, um, um, what does Jesus say about tattoos? Let's go there. If you can kindly go to Levit Leviticus. Okay. 19 all right um 19 where are we at where are we at 28 okay 19 28 it says do not cut your bodies for the dead okay or put tattoo marks on yourselves i am the lord okay now guys when i got that i went to the secret place and i repented now a lot of people throw stones but you don't know what people do in a secret place so i suggest you take note of what the law says with all uh, um humility the law says if you do not have sin on your hands curse the first stone but as i said guys whatever we whatever the law tells me to discuss that's what i'm going to discuss i just wanted to come let you know tattoos it's in my past and if that person had gone back on my previous videos that i did in 2020 when i first started i addressed certain things because jesus knew that one day someone's going to come and say is that a tattoo and you know what let me just quickly go into it i was covering up and then lately the lord is like mm -mm. Lately, the Lord is like, you're not being yourself, even to the point of, okay, I love you. You're wearing white. I love it, but you're not being yourself. Yeah, because the Lord knows I love clothes. I love fashion, but I know how to balance it down now because the fashions of today are too much. So that's how maybe he wanted someone to comment on it. I don't know, but the Lord told me you're not being yourself. So I started just, if I want to show my neck, I'll show my neck. Okay, so I'm glad that whoever pointed it out, pointed it out. But what I'm saying is the Lord wants me, Adasa, Esther, to be herself. Okay, I am not here to be anyone else. Okay, he, he hasn't even called me to be anyone else. He's called me to be his Adasa, Esther. So that is to whoever was asking about, is that a tattoo on your neck? Um, One thing I'll say is... I. Uh, this is why originally I was covering up. I don't want people to focus on those things. They're not life important things. The most important thing right now is to make sure that you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, because he is coming back and he is coming back for those that have accepted him, that those that have said, yes, he is my Lord and Savior and I'm going to be with him one day in his glory. So on that note, Whoever wants to give their life to Christ, let us um, say the prayer of salvation. But I love that sister or brother, whoever brought it up. I love you, but I had to come and correct. Yeah, because my channel is about love, guys. It's about love. It's about love. And my channel is about um, the word of God, letting people know the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus loves us all. Tattoos and, and all these other stuff. It doesn't matter as long as you've given your life to Christ. And another thing, I didn't call myself, guys. Those that truly know me in my circles, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do ministry. I didn't want to do my calling because of the examples that I had around me. They put me off. But then 2022, the Lord said, no, 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 no. I'm not going to talk to you again. This is it. Like those that know that have been in ministry longer than me, disobedience is not the one. Not to the Lord. If the Lord tells you to do something and it's bigger than you, you better do it. So on that note, those that want to give their life to Christ, 
and um, just repeat after me guys i love you i had to come back just put that to bed again yes <laughs> yesterday was the the head thing now today is tattoos i rebuke anything else in the mighty name of jesus guys those that want to give their life to christ let's do this um so repeat after me heavenly father i come to you from the depth of my heart realizing i'm a sinner I repent of my sins and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and died on the cross for me and my sins. I believe that you raised him from the dead. Lord, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and live in me now. I receive by faith that you are my personal Lord and my Savior. I receive the, the Holy Spirit as my comforter to help me obey you and to do your will. It is in Jesus' name that I believe and receive the, these things in prayer this day. Amen. If you have repeated that, congratulations, you're born again. Guys, get yourself a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, get yourself a Bible. And um, yeah, one day at a time, take it, take that, take it one day at a time with the Holy Spirit. Um, call the Holy Spirit for help to help you. The Bible does say that he will instruct us in the way we should go. And that is um, Psalms 32 verse 8. Okay. All right, guys. To the next time. I really do love. I love people. I really do love people. But there's certain things I will come and address. And there's certain things where this one, the Lord said, address it. Certain things will say, leave it. But you know what? He's a beautiful God because he's the one that said to me, start being you. I want you to be you. Like, just dress. Like, just be you. You know, because I was cov coming up, covering and being in white all the time. And um the reason why I was in white as well, because God talks about the garment that we will get. It, it will be a white garment, you know. So, um, and purity as well. Like, it's just, listen, guys, spend some time with the Holy Spirit. So spend some time with God. Seriously. All right. I love you guys. Till the next time. Adasa Esther. God bless you. Till the next time. Jesus loves you more. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Like and subscribe.